looking at the American context, I don't think there really is democracy in the sense that the people are running the government. I think what's actually happening is that money runs, the, runs our government and that you can't get elected without lots of money and the person who spends the most money often wins. And so we also have the problem where corporations and unions can give unlimited funding to political parties. So um, we don't actually have a democracy. We have something else, something more nefarious. Um, but I don't think that the dream of democracy is dead at all. I think the dream of democracy has been going on since the dawn of civilization and that humans have always been fighting for democracy. Since for 5,000 years we've been fighting for democracy. We've been toppling pharaohs and toppling kings and, and tyrants and, and seeking democracy. So we're just in one of those moments that happens throughout history where we're at a low point of democracy. But there's going to be a higher point of democracy soon, but it requires a kind of innovation within our concepts of activism. Beyond a crisis within representative democracy, there's basically a crisis within activism and within protest. There's a crisis within the power for people to force their governments to do what they want. You know? So in a sense, democracy doesn't really exist because there isn't any way for unelected, just average people to demonstrate or protest in a mass way that, that shifts, the, shifts their governments in any way. The only way to remove the influence of corporations in our democracy would be to create a social movement that can win elections. That's, that's what I think. I think that we've been kind of, as, as movements, as activists, we've been like avoiding the one solution, which is that we have to build social movements that can also function as parties. And I mean, that's, that's not what we want to hear. What we want to hear instead is that we can just organize street protests and get really angry and like have social movements and that somehow that's what we can do. But when you actually create something like Occupy Wall Street and you see that that was a once-in-a-lifetime event and it didn't work because we had been chasing a false theory, a false story of how social change happens. We believe in our hearts or we want to believe that large numbers of people going into the streets will have positive, will change their governments. But when you actually achieve that, you realize it's not true at all. What I imagine is the birth of a social movement that wins elections in one country and then starts winning elections in multiple countries. So that you have Podemos or Syriza or the Five Star Movement like in five or six or ten different countries. That's what I kind of see as happening. Um, yeah, so I do think that it's, it's about this global kind of social movement storyline. Mm -hmm.